Public officials visited a food bank for a service day of action to see the collaborative efforts taking place to end hunger. Haiti Clotter shows us how Second Harvest North Central Food Bank wants to provide hunger relief. Politicians and the public packed potatoes and pinto beans to help take action against hunger. It all went down at the Second Harvest North Central Food Bank in Grand Rapids for its public service day of action. Alleviating hunger helps people concentrate on what comes next. So getting to work, getting to school, getting an education, and, and um, moving forward with your life. Second Harvest serves seven counties in north central Minnesota, including Aiken, Cass, and Crow Wing County. The food bank provides food to about 115 nonprofits, including food shelves and soup kitchens. It's really important that we bring in people who are elected uh, to set policies about our, in our community to think about the people who are hungry and how can we work together to make, to make a difference for people in need. For Representative Sandy Lehman, hearing the stories of children going to bed hungry and seniors having to choose between medication or food tugs at your heartstrings. I really welcome the opportunity to come to tour and, and understand how this system works. According to Feeding America, Itasca County has a food insecurity rate of 11 percent. Here guests share the impact hunger can have. As part of a statewide cheering program, Second Harvest distributes more food to all. People in International Falls get the same benefit as those in St. Paul. I think that's really reassuring for us to know that we have a system already in place that if we can support um, people that are hungry actually have access to food at no cost. Donating food, funds and time volunteering are a few of the ways the community can get involved in hunger relief. In Grand Rapids, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. In 2016, Second Harvest provided almost 3 million meals in seven counties. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.